This is Nothing Phone 3A and today I'll show how you can perform an initial system setup on this device. So first select what language you would like to have your setup and consequentially the whole system interface in. You can also uh, change the uh, vision settings to accommodate for any, uh, well, imparities or any issues you may have with uh, interacting with the default interface here. Uh, then press here. You can insert the SIM card now and do, or do that later on. So you can skip this step. Now you can set up your device offline or connect to a Wi-Fi network. I suggest that you uh, prefer the online connection since it is going to be, well, fuller. So you will be able to configure more things while setting up your phone. Now let me quickly connect to a Wi-Fi network. Once the Wi-Fi connection is established, you will need to wait a few seconds for the, well, setup to prepare its uh, further steps. So now you can uh, copy your apps and data from a backup you may have created from your previous device, or if you have such backup, you can uh, import it now or at any point further uh, or in the future as well. I do not have such a backup, so I'll just select Don't Copy option and skip this step and move directly to the next one, which is going to be the info checking. Once again, just wait around for a few moments here and there. Now you can sign into your Google account or you can absolutely skip this step and uh, add Google account later down the line. I will personally sign into the Google account now just to spare myself from, from it in the future. So input your Google account credentials here. Select whether you are going to use this device or your child. If your child option is selected, you'll need to set up some parental restrictions or controls, or you will have, uh, rather, you will be presented with an opportunity to do that. But once again, you will also be able to change all of those things later on at any given point. So uh, decide for yourself whether you would like to skip those steps or follow through. Now, once again, we'll need to wait for a few seconds. Here, enable uh, whatever Google services you want to use. Now you can also uh, manage the Google backup preferences here, what things will be backed up and what won't to the earlier added Google account if you added Google account uh, doing setup as I did. Now, if you are in the European Union, I guess, maybe some other countries have this rule in place as well, but EU specifically, you will need to choose your default browser and search engine. So do exactly that. Here, just select whatever search or browser you love or prefer using. Uh, now you can also optionally set up a screen lock, either a pin code, or if you'll go into the screen lock options, you also will be able to go with pattern or password. I'll skip the step since I have no need in locking my screen now. And now you can leave and get reminder and get directly to the system or continue the setup, which will probably prompt you a few Google Assistant uh, configurations here and there. So I'll skip this step here, decide what experience improvement programs you would like to enroll into. So the user experience program itself, system stability program or nothing notifications. Now you can also learn more about the Glyph interface if you want to. I'll skip the step for now and see what's new in the OS 3.0. Now also skip this step if you would like to simply get to your system prefer what icon or visual style you would like to see throughout your system, either nothing or default stock Android, and then press the finish setup button. And that's it. So should you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. But as for now, thanks for watching and bye bye.